How's it going my YouTube people? I'm back at it with another video here upon request. I'm gonna show you guys here today essentially how to use the bypass method, which is, you know, makes your internet faster when you're out of your hotspot data. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do so uh, with a wireless connection. That way you can connect other devices, you know, such as uh, an Xbox or more than one Xbox or, even uh, Nintendo Switch. Um, so I am here in the truck in vampire mode. But yeah, so it's from my fellow truckers out there or people out there with, you know, no good ISPs in the middle of nowhere. Um, or, you know, just somebody who wants to take advantage of, you know, all the money they spend on Verizon. So, I mean, it's valid. Anyway, just gonna quickly run through my initial uh, tutorial which is you know just how to unthrottle it to begin with so just quickly again here you go into your um, your connection and then you want to connect to your phone's hotspot it has to be a cell phone guys it can be Android or iPhone doesn't matter I have my iPhone um, turn on your hotspot from your phone connect to it using your laptop once you're connected I'm gonna come over here uh, to the start menu and start typing in command we will find here the command prompt uh, I'm on Windows 10 this might look a little different sometimes you can right click to get these options but essentially you want to run it as administrator and yes I do want to run as admin next up you want to go ahead and enter this command line here which I'll go ahead and paste into the uh, the, the description of this video um, so you can either right click and copy or control C to copy and then you come in here just click in there control V as in Victor to paste and then you click enter or hit enter it'll say okay and that means it's done its job now separate from what we did on the previous video, if you watched it, we basically went into the internet settings right here. So you right click, open network settings, and then you go to ethernet, change adapter settings right there. All right, so here we have, you know, Bluetooth, whatever, ethernet, and that's the hotspot coming from my phone. As we can see there, just the three. So what you want to do, and I believe this may be exclusive to Windows 8 and 10, or maybe just 10. I I only have 10, so I don't I can't speak for it. But anyway, you go into the network icon, and you should see mobile hotspot. So you click that, and then it's gonna appear here as a different connection. So that is the hotspot that your laptop's broadcasting, and that's the one coming from my iPhone. So we'll go ahead and right click on the iPhone one. It'll open up this menu once we click on properties. And then here you go into this tab that says sharing. We want to allow, it's fine, just a warning or whatever. You allow it and then it'll have this drop down menu here. We want to click, we want to allow this one right here which is our laptop's hotspot that it's broadcasting. So yep, you click on that one hit OK and now we should be broadcasting uh, the connection from our computer as well so we'll go ahead and test that out here um, I guess let's start on my we'll go small to big how about that so let's go into if I can remember where the menu is that is yeah there it is system settings internet, internet settings, okay so here we show my iPhone and that connection is coming from my phone itself that I'm recording on right now and then that's coming from my laptop so that's the one we want to connect to and I'm gonna just enter my insanely difficult password here don't copy it because it's super secret Okay. All right. 
So now I'm connected here and I should have fully unthrottled internet here. Uh, next up is my Xbox because you gotta have options here. All right, so we're gonna go to setup wireless, same thing. Uh, we wanna find the PC and there's the iPhone one, but we're gonna connect to the PC because that's the one that's unthrottled. And again, super secret password. So I should connect here momentarily. All right, so again, this is essentially, you know, it's the same method as before. There we go, I'm connected. Um, comes in clutch when, again, you don't have a high-speed internet at home, or you don't even have that option to begin with, or like most people, you know, you don't have the funds, it's fine, no judgment here. Um, I just drive a truck for a living, so it works perfect for me. Um, also, some, things to know it will vary you know where you are if the towers are busy it's just going to be slow regardless or you know if you don't have very good signal in general then you won't have um, insane speed it's still going to be above five five or six hundred kilobytes which is way better anything above 600 kilobytes is better you know here i'm getting about eight it looks like and I believe I had full bars on my phone. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona right now. Um, but I know I've gotten upwards of 80 megabytes per second when I was in like California, Southern California. Um, so yeah, anyway guys, uh, I know for sure this works on Verizon. Um, I believe other people have also used Visible, which is essentially Verizon. Um, so you can give that a try, but again, it has to be phone, doesn't matter if it's Android or iPhone. Um, and if you guys need instruction on how to, you know, more thoroughly go through the command prompt and all that stuff, I do have that other video as well. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, again, the main reason for doing this is if you don't wanna be limited to just plugging in the ethernet and having it only go to your Xbox, this will pretty much let you use it on, you know, tablets, other gaming devices, other phones, other computers, etc. etc. So hope this helped you guys again. Enjoy the rest of your day and thanks for watching. Peace.